How to Become Popular on YouTube. Part 1. Creating your YouTube account, decide what sort of YouTube account you'll have. Do you upload music videos? Do you make funny videos? Are you going to do tutorials? Are you a stand-up comedian? Do you tell stories? Choose whichever one you like to do. It can just be a mix-up of everything also. One way is to get inspired by others. Watch the funniest videos on YouTube. Then think about ways to mix them up, making parodies or remixes. Choose anything you basically love to watch, taking note of what your friends find funny too. Show off your own talents. If you know some dance moves, sing well, can tell a great tale, etc., keep practicing your art to become even better at it. When you feel ready, think about making videos of you showing your friends how to do whatever it is you're excellent at. For example, if it's dance, make a movie about the moves, or create a video dance that is brand new, it might turn into a popular dance if it goes viral. Create your channel. Decorate it however you like, and make it original. Don't make the text hard to read. Don't use a white background with yellow text, or a blue background with purple text. A white background with black text usually works best. Pick a good profile name. For example, don't put your name but a weird or witty sounding name. Don't make it too long, most people won't type a 94 letter long name. Use a good profile picture. Don't make it too dumb, because people won't think what you want them to think, and don't make it too cool, because people will know that you got that off the internet. Make your profile photo you or something not too funny. Part 2. Creating your first video, create a video with the info you want. If you want to make a tutorial, make it simple and easy. If you want to make a funny video, do random things, and use the jump cut effect. If you make tutorials, don't make them look complicated and hard. Use clear, short instructions and promise that the end result is something anyone can manage. Edit the video. Here is where you ensure the jump cuts. Cut all of the things that you don't want. Make sure that it looks professional and is easy on the eye and ear. Less is often more. Keep that in mind. Be aware of what tends to catch people's eye when deciding whether to watch a new video, especially from a new YouTuber. Here are some things that may help. The title has to be catchy. Include popular words if possible. A catchy introduction fanfare that you put onto the beginning of every video will make your videos seem more professional and interesting. It also adds to building your brand if you use something that identifies your videos each time. Introduce yourself and to say your name clearly so viewers will understand you. If they like your video and know who it's by, you, they will watch more. Talk with ease, laugh a little at your mistakes. Depending on how interesting they are, you could even make bloopers at the end. Sure people will laugh at you, but you will most likely get a thumbs up. Upload the video. If you're just starting, Windows Movie Maker or iMovie are just fine. You can use more advanced stuff such as VSDC Free Video Editor when your channel becomes more popular. Make one or more videos once a week. When someone searches a video, there is a tab under the title saying, New. Once a week passes, the tab will vanish. Most people want a YouTuber who is current on YouTube, keep your videos short. Most people don't have time for a 46-minute video. Even if they do, they will probably stop it in the middle of your video. Part 3. Using clickbait techniques carefully. Approach baiting carefully. Clickbait is all the methods you can use to encourage viewers to view your video. Use this aggressive tool at a right level. Too little will not attract the people and too much will give you a bad reputation. The goal is to promise impressive content to the viewer. The limit is not to promise more than your video actually provides. On YouTube, clickbait mostly concerns the thumbnail and the title. Use the title to spotlight the most notable features of your video. Do not summarize your whole content, only spotlight the most unusual part to make your video unique. It's not important if the title does not describe the entire content. It only cites the reason why the video deserves to be viewed. Example, you have made a 10-minute video on body training but at 7.23, you have broken the bar. Use emotional features in your title. To create clickbait, you have to search what makes the people react. People reacts on animals, deaths, births, accidents. 
If your video is related to this, put the most emotional element in the title. Use shocking concepts, within reason. In the Western civilization, most people share common values. A video talking about not supporting controversial ideas is likely to intrigue the people, make the people react and make them click on the video. Cite any destabilizing facts mentioned in the video. Use the thumbnail to spotlight the most important features. As with the title, keep the key elements. Choose symbols or iconic images to instantly describe the subject. Zoom to the most important elements. No matter if the thumb is not realistic, it's only a symbolic representation of the content of the video. A thumb is small. The viewer should be able to quickly identify the elements. Example, feature your head and a ball if you are talking about soccer, even if the proportions are not respected. Respect the 180-degree rule. As in filmmaking, your thumb should feature people that look at each other, even if the editing is unreal. Consider creating both a consistent introductory segment that can be added to all videos you create as well as an outer, outtake reel at the very end of the video. Part 4. Developing and maintaining your fan base. Tell all your friends and family. Tell anyone to check your videos out. Also subscribe and send friend requests to a bunch of people on YouTube. Make sure you respect all of your subscribers and answer their comments. You can also use social media sites to grow your fanbase such Twitter, Reddit, Facebook and Google+. Don't leave your fans hanging. Once you get a decent amount of views, make and add more content on a regular basis. Make videos focused on you, your friends, pranks, randomness, etc. Or keep building on your original storyline, such as the adventures of your puppy, the learning curve you experience cooking healthy food or the challenges you've set yourself to learn something new. Be persistent and patient. It can take a while to build up popularity and it really is a waiting game. If you think too hard about being popular, it can do your head in and you may give up. Instead, keep persevering, adding quality material and expect more interest in about 6 to 12 months time. Of course, after a year has passed, if you're not well known despite doing all you can, you need to reassess what you're doing. Part 5. Sharing your videos to build recognition. If you have a Google Plus account, add lots of people on circles. Then put your videos on and share them around. Make sure to have clicked on to and clicked on everyone on your list. Send random private messages to people on YouTube. Ask them politely to watch your videos try to use an exciting reason that will entice them to look. Subscribe to these people, it's an implied way of suggesting they owe you for subscribing. If you personally know a popular YouTuber, ask them to give you a shout out on their videos. Private message your favorite famous people on YouTube. Again, ask them to watch, subscribe or comment on your videos. If they subscribe, then their millions of followers will see and watch your videos too. This is, of course, a long shot but you never know. Tell everyone you know about your channel. Ask them to help you spread the word to their friends. Don't be a pest doing this though, occasional well-placed and polite requests are better than lots of groveling. Make lots of good quality and interesting videos. The more interesting they are, the more people will be attracted to them. And if there are lots, people will start to take you seriously as someone who is willing to keep feeding their interest. Usually, good quality videos are considered to be 720p HD or 1080p HD. Focus your video content to what is popular. That way, it might be mentioned in popular channels. For example, a channel like Failblog, if you make something that is an epic fail, submit it to Failblog and with a little luck, you can be mentioned on Failblog and maybe Ray William Johnson.